ओके क्लास सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर फोर हीट सो इन चैप्टर थ्री यू लर्न दैट वुलन क्लोथ्स आर मेड फ्रॉम एनिमल फाइबर्स यू ऑल्सो नो दैट कॉटन क्लोथ्स आर मेड फ्रॉम प्लान फाइबर्स वी वेयर वुलन क्लोथ्स ड्यूरिंग विंटर्स वेन इट्स क्लोल्ड आउटसाइड then woolen clothes keep us warm we prefer to wear light colored cotton clothes when it is hot these give us a feeling of coolness you might have wondered why particular type of clothes are suitable for a particular season in winter you feel cold inside the house if you come out in the sun you feel warm in summer you feel hot even inside the house how do we know whether an object is hot or cold how do we find out how hot or cold an object is so in this chapter we will try to seek answers to some of these questions okay class now as you can see your first heading that is hot and cold so class in determining that whether an object is hot or cold a word called temperature is very important we always measure temperature of any object or substance to determine whether it is hot or cold if the temperature is high then we say it is hot if the temperature of the object is low we say it is cold so temperature itself is defined as a reliable measure of the hotness of an object so temperature is measured by a device called thermometer now coming to the next topic that is measuring temperature have you seen a thermometer recall that when you have seen or someone else in your family had fever the temperature was measured by a thermometer the thermometer that measures our body temperature is called a clinical thermometer as you can see here class the picture of clinical thermometer is given here that is used by the doctors a clinical thermometer consists of a long narrow uniform glass tube it has a bulb at one end this bulb contains mercury outside the bulb a small shining thread of mercury can be seen if you do not see the mercury thread rotate the thermometer a bit till you see it you will also find a scale on the thermometer the scale we use is the celsius scale indicated by degree c a clinical thermometer reads temperature from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius the normal temperature of a human body is 37 degree celsius the temperature of every person may not be exactly 37 degree celsius it could be slightly higher or slightly lower actually what we call the normal temperature is the average body temperature of a large number of healthy persons the clinical thermometer is designed to measure the temperature of human body only the temperature of human body normally does not go below 35 degree celsius or above 42 degree celsius this is the reason that this thermometer has the range from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius now we will discuss the next topic that is laboratory thermometer how do we measure the temperature of other objects for this purpose there are other thermometers one such thermometer is known as laboratory thermometer you can see in the picture here class look at it carefully and note the highest and the lowest temperature it can measure the range of laboratory thermometer is generally from minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius also you did in the case of this clinical thermometer class here i have to mention 
that nowadays there is a lot of concern over the use of mercury in thermometers as you have seen in clinical as well as the laboratory thermometer uses mercury in it so there is a lot of concern about that how useful or how good this mercury is to use in this thermometer because mercury is a very toxic substance and is very difficult to dispose of if a thermometer breaks these days digital thermometers are available which do not use mercury so it is considered more safe i hope that all of you have understood well class that's all for today's class thank you class